Well, it's now uh, Monday the 21st, and uh, it's the day of the eclipse. I'm just now doing the SEQP. It's a uh, contest for Eclipse Day here. It started about 9 a.m. my time in Iowa. It's now 11.30. I didn't get started until about 10. Um, so basically <clears throat> what we have here is uh, uh, anything goes kind of contest. Uh, they're counting whisper uh, sightings. Uh, they're counting uh, any digital mode, any phone mode, uh, it's whatever you can work, you can do. Um, two watts. Okay. And, uh, so yeah, I'm working 40 meters now, this morning. I already worked about 10 contacts on 7 meter, uh, 20 meters. Uh, and so now I am just... So now I'm working 40 meters, uh, just to mix it up. You can also rework a contact within tw uh, 10 minutes of previously working it. So uh, you can get a lot. So far I think I've only worked one and that was by accident that I, because I, I really don't feel like reworking ones I've already done. Um, because the more grid squares you hit, the more each grid, each different grid square is a different multiplier. So now let me get this guy. I already got that guy. All transmission. Let's see if I can hear anybody else on 40 meters. Uh, I did some whisper on 40 meters. I did some uh, whisper on 20 meters. So if I got nothing here, then I'm going to switch back over 20 meters, see if there's some new names on that. Ah, here's a new one on 40. Transmit. All right, so we got, let's see if he heard me. I didn't adjust my power level, which I needed to do. Oh, my power level's fine. So I'm trying this guy right here. He is 450 miles away. And let's see if he hears me. So here's my logs I've gotten today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've been going for about, actually only about an hour because I didn't get started I think until about 1030. Um, so I guess that's not a bad, bad clip along there. So FT8 is pretty slick. I switched over to 20 meters. Uh, there's very few that I could actually hear on 40 this time of day. So I just switched to 20 meters. This guy immediately picked me up. He's 725 miles away. And uh, let's see if we complete this call. Twelve. Well, I already got 12. I'm telling him he's got 15, and he should be coming back with Roger, Roger, Roger. Or 73. If he's hearing me. He's not hearing me. Dang it. Probably should switch to somebody else if he doesn't get it this next pass. switch to somebody else. I guess I lost him. I'll switch to this guy at 700 miles away. Let's see if he hears me. Yeah. 
He heard me. Oh, no, this is the previous guy. He finally heard me. So let's go back to him. We'll log him. Get him logged. All right. This he should be popping up in my log any minute now. There he goes. Get rid of that. They want you to say this, but there's no way. This thing doesn't work very well. You can't change the messages. It's kind of a pain. So. All right, so I'm going to go check on the Eclipse. Um, unfortunately, it's completely cloudy. Um, so we're not going to be able to see anything. Um, we should have saw almost a complete eclipse from where we're at, but not complete, but we're not going to see anything except dark once it hits. Um, I don't see any light out. It may already be coming, passing through. Um, we'll go look at it. Um, in the meantime, I'm throwing my machine to whisper mode so that I can um, at least get some points for that while it's in whisper mode. So it's supposed to be around 1 o'clock when it passes over here, and the moon has just started hitting it about 10 minutes ago. From what I looked up online, it should be, yeah. But as you can see, we're not going to see anything. It's all cloudy. Completely overcast. I mean, completely overcast. So, obviously it'll just get darker as the eclipse comes, but that's kind of a drag. All right, so now I'm gonna switch over to PSK 31. Let's see what's happening in that neck of the woods. It's hopping, look at all that. Let's hop here. What's this guy? Let's do the CQ. Adjust my volume. Let's see if we get any bites. I got my macros all set up. I'm just doing calls right now, right here. I did get this guy. He's doing the contest. Um, so that's all log. So looking good there. All right, time to go up. Uh, it's about, I think about 20 minutes before the eclipse starts really eclipsing. <laughs> I am going to take my thing and throw it back into Whisper. Let me shut off. I made quite a few contacts on PSK, so that's cool. Um, and then I am going to uh, turn that back on here. Let's open. Let's go into Whisper mode. So now I'm going into Whisper. Oh, already was in Whisper on this one. So I'm back into Whisper. And enable. Let's do the next transmit. I'm on 20 meter. Let me reset it. Yep. It updated my radio. And I'll let it go through here. So this contest is a little different than anything um, because they're going to check uh, Whisper and PKSK Reporter and all that to see uh, what kind of reports we get. They're trying to see how the eclipse affects uh, radio waves. And so um, it's not just about making contacts, it's, it's also about uh, reverse beacons showing up on reverse be beacon networks and Whisper and stuff like that. So. You make more points when you're making contacts, but uh, then they will give you bonus points for what they 
they haven't said how much, but I would assume maybe each siding is worth a half a point or something. Who knows? Um, but they're going to give bonus points for when you're in whisper mode. So I'm going to switch this over and adjust my volume. So my ALC is at three. I found that actually works best for me. Everybody else says one, but the manual says a few. Um, I went with three, and I've had no issues um, with it. Um, Seem to get the most contacts with three. So that's going to do its whispering. And let's go ahead and go out. Yeah, this is about as dark as it got here. This is as dark as it got here. Hi, Brady. Hi. We're hamming it up again. Mm -hmm. Brady decided to join me. I'm doing some ready now. For the, the contest, I've made one contact so far. Um, this guy was contacting me, but then he just disappeared. Give him the picture. That's the area I'm covering right now on 20 meter. Um, incidentally, uh, I'm covering just about as big of area also when I transmit whisper on 40 meter. Um, I can't hear anything on 40 meter, but other people are clearly hearing me. Um, so that's kind of cool to know. Um, with that being said, I am going to just let this thing run, and I may do some more calls later tonight, but I'm going to take a break. All right, I registered my score with the Solar Eclipse QSO party, my first, well, second QSO party that I've done. Uh, well, if you call my attempt at the rookie roundup of five contacts or whatever it was of uh, 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 participation uh, <laughs> uh, but I got it all uploaded uh, based on my calculations I had 29 I had 24 different uh, grid squares and I had 29 contacts at two points of contact because they were all digital and so that came up to like I don't remember um, 1300 and some points and then I got bonus points for um, figuring out what my ERP was uh, for my antenna and I got bonus points because I did the whisper on 40 and 80 I mean 40 and 20 and then I also got bonus points for running PSK the report back to PSK reporter on 40 and 20 uh, that was 200 points right there um, anyway when it was all said and done I got 18 uh, probably going to have around 1,835 points. I don't know if that's good. I uh, can't really go back to previous years and look as this was the first time for this contest. So, but uh, I got fouled uh, and I guess we wait until after the 30th to see what the scores are. be kind of curious to see. But uh, that was my second, uh, well, third field day, don't forget. Field day was my first. I did five contacts on field day. So, of actually participating in contests, this would have been my third. So, getting better, I think. 1,300 points is better than 34 from my rookie roundup. Or 1,800 points compared to 34 points.